Hello boys and girls, I am teacher Melinda Hughes and today I am happy because in this segment we will do grade 6 social studies question and answers. Of course, these questions are multiple choice and it simply means that you will see the question and the options or the answers that are presented for you to choose the one that is correct. So boys and girls, this must be fun. This will be fun because you do not have to write the answer. The answer is right there for you to choose from. Boys and girls, I want to encourage you to get that special quiz book. And just in case you don't have one, I want to ask that you get a special book that you can label after you paper it, Social Studies Quiz. Because, boys and girls, you will have fun and you would want to trace your progress as you do these quizzes. So, it would be fitting for you to have a book. So, get that book, get your pencil, and prepare to write the answer. Of course, boys and girls, after we do the questions, together we will mark. And I want to encourage you with a word of caution, please be fair to yourself. So that means you will be honest because honesty is the best policy and it will pay off well for you to be very honest as you do these. You know why boys and girls? It will show that you are doing your own work. So even if you have someone there at home with you or you have your book, and you might be tempted to check the answer or tempted to ask someone, please do it all by yourself. At the end, you will be rewarded with either 15 out of 15 or just how much you get correct. So let's get going as you prepare. Remember, you number in the margin 1 to 15, and then near to each number, you will write the letter either A, B, C, or D, as needs be. The letter that has the answer for that particular question that you think is correct. So if you think for question one, the answer is B, you have one in your margin and B near to it. So let us get going. Question one, read the caption below then answer questions one and two. So questions one and two are based on the caption. Cassava, it's reaping time. Which of the following products are made from cassava? One, two, and three are products. At answer A, there is a combination of one and two at answer B, combination of one and three. Answer C, a combination of two and three. And answer D, a combination of one, two, and three. Write the letter that you think has the correct answer for question one. Question two, boys and girls, is also based on the caption, cassava, it's reaping time. Choose the ethnic group that is mainly associated with the caption. A, B, C, or D. Question 3. Which of the following factors prevent large numbers of persons from settling in the highlands of Guyana? Which of the following factors prevent large numbers of persons from settling in the highlands of Guyana? A, B, C, or D? Question four. 
Which of the following groups of natural resources are mined in Guyana? Which of the following groups of resources are mined in Guyana? A, B, C, or D? Question five. Which of the following gives the order in which the Guyanese system of government developed? Which of the following gives the order in which the Guyanese system of government developed? One, two, three, and four. A has a combination of one, two, four, and three. B has a combination of one, four, two, and three. C has a combination of two, one, three, and four. And D has a combination of three, one, two, and four. Choose the order which gives us the system of government as it developed in Guyana. Question six. Who was the head of state of Guyana before independence? A, B, C, or D? Question seven. The Chinese Association is hosting an exhibition for their new year. Which of the following will most likely be on exhibition? A, B, C, or D? Write the letter that you think has the answer that is correct for question seven. Question eight. In Guyana, Emancipation Day is also known as A, B, C, or D. Questions nine and 10. Study the graph carefully, then answer questions nine and 10. So boys and girls, you have to study this graph. It says economic activities. And so as you look at this graph, you will see that there are the names of three of our administrative regions. As a matter of fact, the numbers are there. Region two, region four, and region six. At the bottom of the graph, you have to study the information there because that will help you to answer questions nine and 10. So look at the graph very carefully and all the details that is provided on the graph. So question nine, which produce is farmed in all three regions? Which produce is farmed in all three regions? A, B, C, or D? Question 10, which produce is associated with region six only? Which produce is associated with region six only? A, B, C, or D? Question 11. Which of the following statements is not true of the European settlers in British Guyana? Which of the following statements is not true of the European settlers 
in British Guyana? A. B. C. Or D. Write the letter that you think has the answer for question 11. Question 12. Which activity is not associated with the early East Indians in British Guyana? A, B, C, or D? Write your answer. Question 13. A drug addict is one who? A drug addict is one who? A, B, C, or D? Question 14. Which group is correct about Guyana's South American neighbor to the east? Which group is correct about Guyana's South American neighbor to the east? A, B, C, or D? Write the letter that you think has the correct answer for question 14. Question 15. Which conditions the Caribbean may have experienced because of the storm? Which conditions the Caribbean may have experienced because of the storm? One, two, three, and four. At A, there is a combination of one, two, and three. At B, there is a combination of two, three, and four. At C, there is a combination of one, three, and four. And D, there is a combination of one, two, and four. Write the letter that you think has the correct answer for question 15. So boys and girls, this has brought us to the end of the question segment for social studies at this time. However, we have to mark, so the answers will be provided. So get ready to mark, because this is time for your reward. Let us continue. We're marking, and remember, do not erase or change your answer. If not erase, do not mark it off or put in the answer if you didn't and then say, oh yes, I have it correct. Please remember to be honest and be fair with yourself. So question one, read the caption below, then answer questions one and two. Cassava, it's reaping time. Which of the following products are made from cassava? One, conky, two, farine, and three, casrip. Answer A has a combination of one and two. Answer B has a combination of one and three. Answer C has a combination of two and three. And answer D has a combination of one, two, and three. The answer for question one is C, farine and casri. Two and three are products that are made from cassava. Question two. Choose the ethnic group that is mainly associated with the caption. A, Amerindians, B, East Indians, C, Chinese, or D, Europeans. The answer to question two is A. Yes, boys and girls, one of the main crops that the Amerindians plant is cassava. And of course, that's their staple diet. They use cassava to make farine, casrip, or even tapioca. And as they do that, they use those products as a part of their diet. Question three, which of the following factors prevent large numbers of persons from settling in the highlands of Guyana? A, large swampy areas. B, 
B, huge network of rivers, C, attractive flora, or D, large expanse of flat land? The answer to question three is A, large swampy areas. Because the highland region of Guyana experiences heavy rainfall all year round, there are large swampy areas, which makes it very difficult for the population to be dense. So, in the forested highland region, the population is sparse, scattered. As a matter of fact, most of the persons who live in the highland region are either loggers, gold miners, or pork knockers, or they are simply balata bleeders. Question four. Which of the following groups of natural resources are mined in Guyana? A, stone, diamond, gold. B, iron, sand, manganese. C, gold, petroleum, sand. Or D, bauxite, diamond, gold. The answer to question four is D. Bauxite, diamond, and gold are natural resources that are mined in Guyana. Of course, boys and girls, the others are natural resources, not iron, of course, but they are not all mined. Mining involves the use of machinery to get the mineral or the resource from under the soil. So bauxite, diamond, and gold are those natural resources that are mined in Guyana. Question five. Which of the following gives the order in which the Guyanese system of government developed? One, colony. Two, independence. Three, cooperative republic. And four, internal self-government. A, one, two, four, and three. B, one, four, two, and three. C, two, one, three and four, and D, three, one, two, and four. The answer to question five is B. One, colony. Four, internal self-government. Two, independence. And three, cooperative republic. That's the order in which the Guyanese system of government developed. Question six. Who was the head of state of Guyana before independence? A, president, B, prime minister, C, governor, or D, queen of England? The answer is D, the queen of England. Before Guyana gained its independence, there was a head of state who was appointed by the monarchy, and that was the queen. Of course, there was also a head of government, so please do not get it mixed up. There was head of state and head of government. And so as Guyana developed its political status, the head of state changed over the period and also the head of government. Boys and girls, at this time, because Guyana is a cooperative republic, the head of state is the executive president and the head of government is also the executive president. So I trust that you are following your notes and you understand the order in which the Guyanese system of government evolved or simply developed. Question seven. The Chinese Association is hosting an exhibition for their new year. Which of the following will most likely be on exhibition? A, guitars, sitars, and sarongs. B, fried rice, dragon dance, wonton soup. C, sweetmeats, pancakes, suits. Or D, pepper pot, cassava bread, paiwari. The answer to question seven is B, fried rice, dragon dance, wonton soup. These are all contributions that were made to the Guyanese society by the Chinese. Of course, the others are mixed with contributions that the other ethnic groups would have contributed. Question eight. In Guyana, Emancipation Day is also known as A, Arrival Day, B, Labor Day, C, Freedom Day, or D, Independence Day. 
The answer to question eight is C, Freedom Day. In Guyana, Emancipation Day is also known as Freedom Day. Of course, boys and girls, those other days, Arrival Day, Labor Day, and Independence Day are national holidays. They are celebrations that we participate in or we observe in Guyana. But of course, they do not refer to Emancipation Day, only Freedom Day. Study the graph carefully, then answer questions 9 and 10. The title of the graph is Economic Activities. And there are three regions, Region 2, Region 4, and Region 6. The data that is provided tells us that the block that is red in color represents rice. The one that is orange represents ground provision. The one that is yellow represents sugar cane. And the block that is green represents vegetables. So boys and girls, in region two, rice and ground provision are grown there. So boys and girls, in region two, rice and ground provision are grown there, so that forms a part of the economic activities, meaning that when it is produced, it is sold. In region four, rice and sugar cane are grown there. And in region six, rice, ground provision, sugar cane, and vegetables are grown there. So boys and girls, you will use this information on the graph to answer questions nine and 10. Let's look at it. Which produce is farmed in all three regions? A, rice, B, vegetables, C, sugar cane, or D, ground provision? The answer to question nine is A, rice. If you look at the graph, you will notice that rice has a block in each of the regions that is presented on the graph. Question 10. Which produce is associated with region six only? A, rice, B, vegetables, C, sugar cane, or D, ground provision? If you look at the graph, you will notice that vegetables is the only crop that is planted in region six amongst these three regions. So question 10, the answer is B vegetables. Question 11. Which of the following statements is not true of the European settlers in British Guyana? A. They planted sugar cane and tobacco. B. They brought the Amerindians as slaves. C. They came in search of the Golden City. Or D. They traded their produce with other nations. The answer to question 11 is B. They brought the Amerindians as slaves. Which of the following statements is not true of the European settlers in British Guyana? B. They brought the Amerindians as slaves. That is not true. They brought the Africans as slaves. All the other answers are true about the Europeans. As a matter of fact, the ancestors who the Europeans met here were the Amerindians, also known as the indigenous people of Guyana. Question 12. Which activity is not associated with the early East Indians in British Guyana? A, training in embroidery. B, worked as indentured immigrants. C, development of the rice industry. Or D, establishment of land development schemes. The answer to question 12 is A, training in embroidery. Which of our ancestors or which of the early ethnic groups in British Guyana were trained or did embroidery? It were the Chinese. The East Indians, of course, worked as indentured immigrants. They developed the rice industry and they also established land development schemes. So A just is not associated with the East Indians. Question 13. 
A drug addict is one who A, avoid drugs, B, uses drugs sometimes, C, used drugs, or D, uses drugs regularly. The answer to question 13 is D, uses drugs regularly. A drug addict is one who uses drugs regularly. Question 14. Which group is correct about Guyana's South American neighbor to the east? Which group is correct about Guyana's South American neighbor to the east? A. Peso, Spanish. B. Real, Portuguese. C. Bolivar, Spanish. Or D. Suriname dollar, Dutch. The answer to question 14 is D. Suriname dollar, Dutch. Guyana's continental neighbor to the east, that is, the immediate continental neighbor to the east is Suriname. The other information, of course, is related to other South American countries, but those are not found to the east immediately of Guyana. So the answer at A, peso, Spanish, is related to Argentina. Real Portuguese, the answer at B, is related to Brazil. Bolivar Spanish, the answer at C, is related to Venezuela. And question 15. Study the caption below, then answer question 15. Tropical Storm Linda wrecks Caribbean islands. Which of the conditions the Caribbean may have experienced because of the storm? One, lack of potable water. Two, destruction of buildings. Three, increased crop production. And four, loss of life. A, one, two, and three only. B, two, three, and four only. C, one, three, and four only. And D, one, two, and four only. The answer to question 15 is D, lack of potable water, destruction of buildings, and loss of lives. These are some of the effects that tropical storms usually have on citizens or on Caribbean islands. So boys and girls, storms are just not friendly. They cause lots of destructions. And so, this has brought us to the end of our questions and answers segment. I'm sure, boys and girls, you are proud of yourself, especially if you have 15 out of 15. Give yourself a little tap on the shoulder. Or if you have a sticker or an emoji pad at home, you can place that next to your score. Or even if you don't have, you can write the word excellent. If you did not get all 15 correct, I know that you did well. You must have gotten 14 or 13 or maybe 12. Yes, if you have 12 or 13 or 14 correct out of 15, you have performed very good. If you did not, then don't be discouraged. If you have 10, then you did good, but you can do much better. I would encourage you to read some more. And for you boys and girls, who probably did not score 10, but you have gotten less than 10 or even five, or I am sure you did something that you are proud of. Even if you did not score highly, I still want to encourage you because you would have done your best. I want to encourage you to keep on keeping on. Do not give up, read some more. And next time around, Work for that 15 out of 15, or even if you don't, work to get a better score. So until next time, boys and girls, keep on reading, have fun, and I'll see you then as we do quiz again. Goodbye, boys and girls.